Hello everyone and happy Motivational Monday. I'm Sonya Jenkins here in Peachtree City, Georgia, filming this on a Sunday. As a way to continue celebrating Congressman John Lewis, I decided to share a few videos I took of the Edmund Pettus Bridge some years ago. I'm also sharing some photos taken by the Associated Press of the late civil rights icon being carried over the Edmund Pettus Bridge for the last time. In this video, you'll also see an interview I did with the Reverend Jesse Jackson, Martin Luther King III, civil rights activist and son of Martin Luther King Jr., as well as Ambassador Andrew Young, all at the Trumpet Awards. You'll also get to hear from my mentor of 20 plus years, civil rights icon, Miss Zernona Clayton. Well, as I always say, there's nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. Reverend Jesse Jackson, he's been to every single Trumpet Award. I know you made each one, right? Yes. Of course. It's a, it's a glorious event. Uh, we've seen in such a, a wholesome light of the trumpets, you know. Uh, we often see him through a keyhole in a very narrow way. Here we're seeing through a door. We are athletes and singers, but, but we're also astronauts. We're doctors, we're lawyers, we're heads of state. Sonoma Clay makes that happen for us. It's good for our own souls and for the healing of the nation. The rich are getting much richer quick and the poor are getting poorer. 59 million Americans uh, have no health insurance. There'll be 4 million more foreclosures this year. 49 million people are in poverty and 30 million are looking for a job. And so we must be mindful of the fact that even as we celebrate those who have uh, made a certain breakthrough that the, our work uh, must continue. And sometimes families, but individuals from our community are, are honored because of the work that they've done uh, in our communities. And so it's a wonderful to get to this period every, every year and to see that there's now an educational component to the Trumpet Awards to help inform our children uh, about who our heroes and heroines were and hopefully inspire them to become all that they can become. Normally, the evening news is bad news. If it bleeds, it leads. And we never hear about the success stories. And what Mrs. Clayton has done is she has found people who have overcome great difficulties, great odds and challenges, and by the grace of God and the power of the human spirit, they've achieved uh, exceptional status and results. And uh, it's always uplifting to come here. And she is a true icon all over the country. And her husband, uh, Judge Paul Brady. Thank you. Thank you. Now, first of all, we celebrated Miss Clayton last week, her unveiling in her hometown of Muskogee, Oklahoma. <laughs> I, was, I was somewhere with you. <laughs> and it was a grand, fabulous unveiling for a street name for an icon. How did you feel about that? Beyond, beyond my ability to express it, to come home to a city that once denied me an opportunity to move freely, and now I'm coming back with open arms, it was an indescribable moment. And this is 22 years with the Trumpet Awards. How does that make you feel? You brought this beautiful award show, and it is just something that people just get so much energy and inspiration from. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel um, the same thing you just said. People get energy and inspiration. And also we get a lot more. We get entertainment as well as illumination. And we're educating the next generation because I think we're losing uh, the connection of the past and the present and the future without the successes of people who've kind of risen to the top against immense odds. I thank you so much. You are my mentor and I really look up to you. And I love you so much. <laughs> and you know what? Miss Clayton taught me once. She said, you're as young as you think you are, and age is just a number, and she is 29. <laughs> Isn't that right? This is Sir Nona Clayton saying you're watching Sonya Spotlight. Keep watching. And that's a wrap. Enjoy your week. Believe the best is yet to come. Never give up on your dreams. I just want to end with a Congressman John Lewis quote this week. Never give up. Never give in. Never become hostile. Hate is too big a burden to bear. Oh,